Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I know I said that my next video would be the first deep dive on my channel, which I did announce was going to be Paige. However, I kind of underestimated how much time it would take me to do it. I typed the script and it was like 40 something pages and I did my voiceover for it and it was like two hours. And I ended up not even liking the voiceover. So I want to start all over. So until we get to the deep dive, I have to do something else because I can't leave y'all hanging. So today we are going to be starting rewatching the grassy season nine with episodes one and two titled Just Can't Get Enough, which is a two part episode. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last season where it's called rewatching the grassy because season nine is the last season I vividly remember watching as it aired. Anything after season 10, I've always said that I remember like some of the characters and like major storylines that happened in later seasons. But when it comes to like the nitty gritty details, it's lost upon me because I wasn't watching the episodes, but I was kind of sort of keeping up with the show. But by then later seasons, I was like in my later years of high school, going into college and like I wasn't really trying to watch the grassy. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Not gonna hold you guys too much longer. Before we get into it though, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. You already know subscribing is free as hell. I have a second channel. It's still there and I am still gonna upload on it, but I've just been on top of like trying to work on my deep dive, I've also been like hashtag depressed and hashtag stressed. And I used to be able to like record when I was like not in the best mental state, but now I can't anymore. Like if I'm not feeling good mentally, I can't record. Like I can't fake the funk, but I'm feeling good today. So second channel, Unusually Eric, go subscribe to that. Subscribe here if you like the grassy content because that's all I'm doing over here. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh my god, Fiona and Declan, oh lord. I feel like I haven't watched the episode with these two in it in so long, cause like when I did rewatch the Grassy in my free time, it was never later seasons, it was always the early ones. Holly J's the de facto student council pres. The band, Stu's, just shot a movie in LA. The singer's girlfriend is Degrassi's next top model. Speak of the devil. I mean, they low-key all famous, like, it's kind of crazy. That's amazing, Peter. I know. This semester's all about me and you, baby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Not really, because Mia's about to be up out of here, sis. Whatever it takes. Not the new intro. Manny <laughs> and fucking Emma still in this fucking intro. Girl, go somewhere. <laughs> Jenna and fucking Dave. R.I.P. Dave. <sighs> Jamil Finch. R.I.P. It kills me that Emma and Manny are still in the intro when I feel like they're barely in this season. You know, they're OGs, why not? Mia, you just spent the weekend in Paris. You're what we call aspirational. Newbie alert, this is Fiona and Declan. Girl, Shantae is getting on my nerves. The fact that she's still here is crazy and the fact that she doesn't really do anything but talk about everyone else is even crazier. I wouldn't miss the beach bash. It's refreshing to hear lyrics that aren't trying to be intelligent. Not him trying to flirt. Claire! Alex! Yeah. Show me your classes. Wait, isn't this just the second semester? Y'all have been apart for maybe a month. I hate that they changed that, by the way. Like, why did they change each season from being one full year to a semester? Like, I don't like that. I'm Jenna. I'm Claire. This is Allie. We're BFFs. I'm so glad. Oh my god. <laughs> I just thought about the way they advertised Jenna for this new season as like a legit boyfriend stealer. Like, do y'all remember that promo with Jenna who like, she just straight up was like, I'm gonna steal your boyfriend or something. I can't remember exactly what she said, but she was like not playing no games. Like she was like, I'm coming to Degrassi and I'm taking your man. Like, I kind of like it. I, I like it because it's messy. Peter, I didn't see you there. Yeah, I just sort of showed up. Did you get my email? I was hoping to see you after class. I'm, I'm sorry, but we don't have a place for you here right now. Damn. Not telling him in front of everybody. That's kind of crazy. Like, dude, you could have pulled me to the side. Shine, just believe, touch the sky. When did our school become some bizarre white version of fame? Please tell me it hasn't because I can't dance or sing. Her voice is giving like Christian music. What season is that when she like is on that competition show and she's like pregnant and then they found out she was pregnant and then like. I think she won. I don't know, but I kind of vividly remember that storyline. Vividly means I really remember it. That's not the right word. I, I can't think of the word. I got us into Declan's swanky party thing. 
he's gonna introduce you to his mom. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my god, that's amazing. I can't stand Mia's character. I'm actually really happy this is gonna be the last time we see her. Peter, this contract, it's worth 250 grand. <laughs> I have to move to Paris. Paris, France? Nah, no, Paris, Texas. When? Saturday. Saturday. That's crazy. She got this new contract and they want her to move in like a couple of days. They don't give her like a month at least. She's like, no, sorry. <laughs> I can't even get my words out. She's like in high school with a baby. Like, is the baby going with her or is the grandma the baby? Like, is grandma going to be watching the baby while she just frolicking in Perry? No, Peter, come on, don't do this. Mia, you're going to be like 5,000 miles away surrounded by guys falling in love with you. And that's exactly why I need to know that you're going to be here for me. Like, long distance isn't bad, I guess, but cross country? Cross country. Not really. Across countries? I don't know what word I should be using. I'm not that smart. You know what? Come over. It'll be fun. You're sure Allie won't mind? Of course not. She's not the jealous type. <laughs> Girl, she is exactly the jealous type. I feel like this is around the time too where cell phones are like super important into the grassy. Like everybody has a phone now because I mean, what year is this? 2009? That's actually the year that I got my first cell phone. I was a little late. I was a freshman in high school when I got my first cell phone, but I didn't really talk on the phone like that in middle school. Like occasionally I would, you know, pick up the house phone, call a friend. But when I got to high school and everyone else had cell phones, I was like, ma, I really need a cell phone. Like I look like a loser without a cell phone. So I got one for my 15th birthday. Get up there, play that woe song. <laughs> no, I don't even have an ax. Oh, no problem. I'm like, whoa, California, son. The fact that he called it that woe song, <laughs> Declan is shady as hell. No, Declan, it's forget it. Hey everyone, having a good time? Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure he will rock the house down the boots if he went up there and sung. I love the watch chair. It's been that way for a half a year. I kind of want to feel bad for Peter, but then I think about all the stuff he's done on the show and I don't anymore. Not fair that she breezes into school and steals my best friend. I knew she'd do it the minute I saw her. So I guess what I want doesn't matter. Thanks, Sally, real nice. Actually, guys, I'd love to be friends with both of you. Allie isn't necessarily wrong about her wanting to steal her friend, but, like, Jenna does steal KC later, so... I mean, she does steal something. Don't think, sweetie. Just do. How do you... You'll figure it out. <laughs> Bro, not the meth. Wait, is it meth or coke? I forget. But she's definitely giving like a PG-13 version of Homegirl from Euphoria with the big lips. So tell me, who's off limits? Off limits? In my old school, I was such a boyfriend stealer, especially with bad boy types. They're totally my weakness. I'm with Casey. Aw, he is so cute. <laughs> but don't worry, Claire Bear. I won't even look at him. <laughs> I mean, the grassy riders are so out of pocket for riding someone who says that they're a boyfriend stealer. Like, proud mistress. Like, I don't think anyone's like that in real life. I mean, I just lied, because there are some people like that IRL, but they're not really ever that open with it, you know? Tori's giving out party favors. He's on crank. What? What in the hell is crank? Did you take something from Victoria? Some coke, I think, just a little. Peter, coke wasn't bad enough, but that was crystal meth. Oh, meth. I knew it was meth. Yummy. Moving to Paris does freak me out. And if you're gonna come with me, I need you to be good, please. Mia, I promise. Making a two-part premiere? Oh, he still got some. That's crazy. But making a two-part premiere about Mia and Peter is a choice. Because Mia is possibly the most boring character ever on the grassy. Up until this point. And Peter is just not... He did some good stuff last season, but overall, he's just unlikable. Like, if I were to do a two-part premiere, I would have focused on Declan and Fiona if they wanted to focus on new characters. 
or if they wanted to, you know, talk about some older people, maybe focus on this newer class that started last season, like Allie and Claire. I mean, we got a B plot of them, but maybe a more focused plot on them instead of, you know, this, you know, Allie's jealous and freaking Jenna Stills boyfriends or whatever. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just glad Mia's leaving because she's boring as fuck. Goddamn. My cousin Vicky was a ballerina. Now she just tweaks out and hooks up with random guys. It's a shame, really. This could be you in six months. Bam. <laughs> I mean, that is not funny. But Declan's low key evil as hell and shady as fuck. Like, oh my God. I could see a path of Peter becoming a meth head. Like, that would not surprise me. I mean, it wouldn't be great, but wouldn't be surprising. Using dialogue and etiquette. I mean, just. George right. Bernard Shaw took the title. Who in the hell is that? Shaw was Super a Holly. He used plays at the Where's project. the day? Or his political oh, ideals. Blue just calls me Holly. Pygmalion. Oh, that's blue. Why does he look so different? What did he look like last season? Why does he look different? That don't even look like the same actor. Is it the same person? So being taken hostage was a good thing. Sometimes bad situations allow a person's inner light to shine. Come on. You can do this. Oh. It just clicked. He had like longer hair. He cut his hair. Which is why he looks different. Okay. Blue's irrelevant. We're gonna have to find a new singer, huh? Dude, there's no students without me. Those songs are mine. I teach you about that in copyright class. Um, whatever. Don't do my boy Sav like that. He's so cute. I love Sav. I'm like, whoa, California, son. I'm like, whoa, the just keep going. Like, That's definitely not how the song goes. What up, Prez? I'm sorry, you are? Dave, future grade nine class rep. Future rep? Oh, Dave. Fia, break time. Uh, There's absolutely nothing in those boxes. Models don't eat, dummy. Whoa. Well, he look like he owns something. Not going anywhere, guy. Security! Okay, big guy. Hey, don't make this harder. No, yourself. let go of me, man. Mia! If I was Mia, I would have been standing there like Beyonce was in that elevator with Solange and Jay Z. I would have been like, watch out for my dress. Your dry use is not my fault. Yeah. What about being supportive? What, of a meth head? Oh. You are not going anywhere with me, okay? Get some help, Peter. Get some help, Peter. That's the best line she's ever delivered on the show. Like, dead ass. Hey, go! Yeah. This song's gonna be in my head for the next three days. We were wondering if athletes could cut the calf line so we can make it to practice at lunchtime. We're on the junior basketball team. We're athletes. Oh, Connor. You're never gonna be happy. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone used to hate you. Now you've got blue, you're super popular. Where's the problem? That don't mean people can just ask her for stuff and she just have to do it. Come on, Aya, don't make me defend Holly J. Even though we know Holly J's like evolution is gonna be similar to Paige's, but honestly, kind of better, low key. But yeah, people can just come up to her and just be asking for shit, especially Niners, loser Niners. The fact that Spinner still hangs around is kind of crazy. Like, I get it, you're part of the band, but like, it's almost been a year since you graduated and you already graduated a year late. So like, you're... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She'll get on that. You're really having trouble prioritizing, huh? Actually, Blue, I know exactly what my priority is right now. This taco. Got it? I'm kind of on Holly J's side. Like, leave me alone. Like, I know I'm being nicer, but don't take advantage of that. Who's gonna sing? I don't know the words. I'm a one-arm drummer. <laughs> I'm a one-arm drummer. Saf can sing, you know, my one and only Anya. Damn, Peter is so down bad. Like, he's all in a sketchy alleyway trying to get some drugs. Oh, did you hear that bone crack? Oh, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Oh, it happened again. Can I do this without my bones cracking? 
stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay. Shared custody. One, two, three, four. Shared custody, shared custody. Why do I know all their songs? <laughs> Why am I like a stewed stan? That is so crazy. You know, you should really put all the heads on the money to one side. That's it. First of all, you are not student council president, and I didn't become president so that I could make friends and have people love me. I did it so that I could do things my way. So just leave me alone. I'm on her side. I'm so on her side. Like, he's annoying. Like, if you wanted to be president, you should run. And you knew who you started dating. Like, it's Holly J. Like, deep down inside, she's still gonna be that mean girl. Like, come on now. Where are you? I don't, I don't know. I'm in between two roads. No, please, just come and help me. Come find me. Oh my god. Not the search and rescue. Just cross the street. Play like, what was that? What's that game called? Crossy Road. Like, real life Crossy Road. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. Come here now. Freezy. You're gonna be alright. Damn, they really turned him into a fucking addict. That is crazy. I'm like messed up, guys. Damn, he did meth twice oh. and it's already fucked up. Can you get rid of this? Are you sure that's all of it? Me. I want to see what this is like. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I always have to say when I'm joking when I say stuff because I really don't want people to take me seriously. Like, <laughs> You had a hard night, but I still believe you can change. So if you're ready to apologize, I'm ready to listen. Apologize? He is weird. You want to turn me into someone that I'm not. And that's never going to happen. No. Take you and your dumb haircut and get the fuck out of her face right now. Bye, Holly. Holly J. It's Holly freaking J. Period. I think this is the moment where I start to stand. This is the moment where I start to stand, Holly J. But just promise me. It's over, I promise. Because Peter, you can't control this drug. One relapse, just one, and it's straight to rehab. Miss H, oh, poor Peter, oh, poor Peter, oh, I just did piece of meth and now I need my mommy. <laughs> that is so rude of me. Cause you know, Peter did have a, a low key redemption arc last season, which is probably why they did this episode so that we can like, you know, sympathize with him a little bit more. And I mean, I do kind of, but I just can't get over the fact that he exposed my queen Manny and then showed it to the whole school. And it, my bone just cracked again. And then started dating her best friend and probably some other stuff that I can't even fathom right now. I can't think of it right now. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Isn't it crazy that he had two girlfriends that left the show to go to a different network, which is the same network. And both of those shows took off like, I feel like they kept both of their characters open-ended, like they could have came back in case their shows flopped, but 90210 and Vampire Diaries took off. I want to say Vampire Diaries is way more popular. I never watched Vampire Diaries, like, vampires, not really my thing. I've also never seen Twilight, any of the movies, because I'm not like a vampire guy, like, I don't give a fuck, but yeah. Season nine, we're here. That'll be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe once again. And I'll see you guys next time with the next video. Adios.